Assalamu alaikum everyone. Welcome to the 41st episode of the Sira Stories from the life of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. All this while we were learning events of the Battle of Uhud and today inshallah we will learn the significant lessons from this important incident of Islam. So let's begin. The Battle of Uhud was the second battle the Muslims fought against the disbelievers. Muslims went into the battle on a high after the victory at Badr. However, the result this time around wasn't completely as they had expected. As a result, the lessons that we can gain from the Battle of Uhud are of immense importance. Today we will learn some of the wisdoms derived from this battle. Number 1 the hypocrites at Uhud. The first lesson that the Muslims learned was even before the battle began. The Muslims went forward the battlefield with an army of a thousand men. When they were on their way to the battlefield, the man called Ibn Ubay, who was a hypocrite, was with his 300 people pulled out of the battle. These hypocrites show their true colors at the time of need. They turned their backs and went back home. Thus, on the day of Uhud, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the difference clear between the real believers and the hypocrites. So the believers realized that they had an enemy from within. Thus, they should be careful of them. This was a warning for the Muslims of all times regarding those who are true believers versus those who are opportunists and don't really follow Islam. And number two, the obedience of Allah and His Messenger We learned that due to the unity and sincerity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala always helps while conflict and disobedience of Allah and His Messenger وسلم, eliminates that help. Furthermore, at the Battle of Badr, the Sahabas were unarmed and defenseless. They were willing to fight. But at Uhud, even though they were fully armed, some of them were swayed by the war booty. Therefore, we clearly see what happens when one is sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and obeys him and the one who disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Disobedience, disobedience is something so bad that it reflects evil not only on the individual but on the entire group whether they are righteous or otherwise. Number three. The injury of the Prophet ﷺ and the obedience of the Sahabas. Now the question arises, why is it that due to the careless behavior of some of the Muslims, the disaster occurred and all the righteous companions and even the Prophet ﷺ got injured? The answer is, the Prophet ﷺ was under the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it is narrated by Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas that he saw two angels wearing the whitest of the white and fighting an intense battle. That means the injuries of the Prophet ﷺ were for a wisdom and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended it and there is a great wisdom and benefit for us to learn. Had it not been for the protection of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Prophet ﷺ would not have lived through the incident of the battle of Uhud. The destructive tragedy can befall on the whole community due to the disobedience of some. The timeless lesson in this loss was to revert to unity and harmony and focus on obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the key to success in this world and the hereafter. Number four, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not simply guarantee victory to the Muslims. Muslims nowadays often wonder why the Muslim countries are mostly in dreadful conditions. We must understand the reason behind this. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not merely provide success to Muslims because of their identity. We must practice Islam and obey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and follow the sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in all aspects. Our ranks are not raised in this world or the next, except when we go through tests and we stay patient. 
Similarly, the injuries of the Prophet ﷺ prove that every single human, no matter how perfect they might be, still need to go through the trials and sufferings. Therefore, the Muslims committed a mistake during the Battle of Uhud, which taught them a valuable lesson. It was a small mistake, but had a great impact in its consequences. We learn that one should never take anything for granted and must always work hard for success. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only helps those who help themselves. We saw this stunning victory of the Muslims against the disbelievers in the Battle of Badr. Number 5. How to deal with tragedy and loss In the second phase of the Battle of Uhud, when the Muslims lost their valuable position, the Quraysh rapidly took over them in a surprise attack. It created chaos in the camps of the believers. Despite the panic, some of the companions stayed close to the Prophet ﷺ during this time and protected him. They helped to plan a strategy to counter the attack. The plan to withdraw and retreat to the mountain allowed them to seek some safety and help the Muslims to regroup which led the battle to an end. Around 70 Muslims lost their lives in this battle. However, Muslims who survived didn't lose hope. They didn't fail to focus on the fact that they were in the middle of a struggle and must fight back. In the end, when Muslims found the bodies of the martyrs, they ensured that they gave them a respectful burial according to the Islamic rites. Despite the loss, everything has an exact response, and the Muslims did that in a dignified manner. Withdrawing, losing hope, and disappointment are not acceptable qualities, which is one of the crucial lessons of the Battle of Uhud. Patience is of the most fruitful traits to have, and we would be well served to be amongst the Sabirun, who are the patient. Number 6 Greed and love of the dunya, the cause of loss. Alongside disobedience, greed was the biggest reason for the Muslims' downfall in the Battle of Uhud. When the Muslims were doing very well in the Battle of Uhud and during the first phase, they began to start getting careless. Some of them started thinking that they had gotten victory. This was very obvious from the actions of the archers. Besides a handful, the others left their position and went after the material things of this life. They lost the bigger perspective of the battle and greed and ambition took over them. Sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and harmony was displayed at Badr, whereas in the battle of Uhud, they disobeyed Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And they chose the possessions of this world over the next and this became one of the cause of their defeat. Hence, greed is a negative characteristic in Islam. Combine that with something as crucial as jihad for the cause of Allah, greed completely destroyed the objective of the battle. So with this, we conclude that one failure does not define us. So never consider one failure as the end of the world. Always keep trying and do your best with sincere intentions. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will always help us as long as our intentions are only to please Him. Now we reach the end of today's episode. Please don't forget to press the like button below and subscribe to our channel Zil Noreen. Until next time, Jazakallahu Khair and Assalamu Alaikum.